Hey, what is up, Declaration? As you can see, I am not where I normally am. This is two weeks in a row being somewhere special with someone special. Yes, I wow. have with me today Josh from The Belonging Co., and he has kind of been, been preaching for our students this week, and man, it has been incredible. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, A, about yourself, yeah. other than we are twins. I don't yes. know if you can we're, tell. We're twinning right now. We have the exact same hats, and we did not plan this, but we have the same hair, same hats. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Shane's actually going to dye his hair black. That's I'm going to dye mine blonde. And then you won't be able to tell us apart. Exactly. Exactly. I'll just look like the, the Shane that has shaved, a there fresh shaven Shane. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be awesome, yeah. Um, but yeah, so my name is Josh, and I'm the youth pastor at The Belonging Co., which is, which is a church in Nashville. Um, my wife and I have been a part of the church for about two and a half years, uh, originally from Australia slash Japan. Always give a shout out to nice, my Japanese yeah. side. But yeah, youth pastors in Nashville, Tennessee, and just love it so much and so honored to be here and a part of Camp 220. And honestly, just to, to come alongside everything that God is doing right here is Man, something special. That's awesome. And, and I'm sure you know some of the history of 220 now just a how long it's been going on yeah uh, you know our pastor john for those of you at, at home watching this started this 20 years ago this is year 20 yeah. why don't you tell us a little bit about what what god has been gearing you up for this week as you as you're teaching all these students yeah yeah i mean honestly as i as i was coming into this and i think i think everyone was feeling this coming into a camp like this especially hearing the history of the camp yeah. but also hearing about how we didn't do camp last year yeah. because of the pandemic yeah. and Sad all of year, that yeah. stuff and so i just got this sense that people were gonna that young people were gonna come in really hungry for the yeah. presence of god and if there's one thing i know it's that um that encounter one encounter with god can change everything yeah. and, and and we hunger and we so long for this encounter with God's presence. And then and what, I, what I've been sharing with the young people is that His, his presence is here, that yeah. God is here and that He longs actually, His heart burns for us to encounter Him. And mm. so it's this beautiful thing. And I felt it from the first moment. I was like, man, there is a hunger in this room. And, yeah. and, and the scriptures say that when people hunger and thirst for righteousness, yeah. that they're going to be satisfied. Right. Seek so. and you'll find. Too, exactly. You know? And I think one of the coolest things, you know, so I've been at 220 for a long time. I think I think I started coming when I was a junior hire. Yeah. I was That's awesome. Like 12, did you have a 13. Beard? I did in actually. It was okay. crazy. <laughs> uh, I was about this tall. And uh, yeah. And you started coming like a long time ago. Yeah. I actually have not grown much. <laughs> I was pretty big in junior high. It's, 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 a, <laughs> I thought I would be taller. Anyway, here I am. But yeah. So I've been coming to 220 for a long time. Yeah. And every year I feel like what's so cool about it is. God shows up differently every year, yeah. right? The, the next year we're expecting and we're like, man, God's going to move this way. And then we show up and it's completely yeah. different. And yeah. I think that just, again, that shows a testament of, man, who God is yep. and how Absolutely. little we know about him. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And just, man, he always knows exactly what we need. And I think one thing that stuck out to me, especially, you know, the first night at 220 was, man, you know, we, we had never met that but yeah. by then and the first thing you did was begin to prophesy over some of these students and i'll yeah. tell you what man that anytime that that prophesying starts man i feel like the spirit just not only sits in the room but just like a craters a room yeah. Yeah. and so i just man i as as we look throughout the rest of this week and guys i hope you've been praying for us i know a lot of you at home i hope you have your, your prayer bracelets on and you've been praying for these kids because this week has been I feel like the energy mm -hmm. is higher than what I've yes. ever seen. Oh, that's awesome. And that's yeah. that's in the the fun rec rally stuff, but also for a Monday night coming in and seeing kids raise their hand to come to know Jesus for the first time yes. is anytime you yeah. can start a camp that way, man. So it's cool. so good. Yeah. You know, you from camp to camp, I know, I'm sure you've been a part of a lot of camps. I feel like there's normally like a, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday night that's the big you know, gospel night. But of course you came in hot yeah. speaking the gospel, which man, why do we not speak the gospel all yeah. the time? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And seeing kids come yes. to know Jesus. That's so good. I, I mean, honestly, um, I remember listening to a message from, um, the late evangelist Reinhard Bonnke. Uh -huh. um, Reinhard Bonnke, I mean, just such an inspirational man of God he was. But one of the things um, he shared was he was preaching at a rally in Africa. And I love it because he was 10 minutes into his message and he was just preaching the gospel. And hands started going up and people started saying, I just got healed. Oh. I just got healed. Man, come and on. Reinhard Bonnke said, I realized in that moment that God doesn't need to wait for a preacher to right? finish his That's message so good. to actually begin to move. And God actually, he, he, he said this, he itches 
Mm. He burns to do great things. And I really feel that way, you know, like with, with a camp, it's like you don't have to wait. You yeah, don't have to, absolutely. you don't succumb to any sort of formula. It's just like if God wants to move, man, we just want to let yeah, him move. Yeah, step back you know? and let him do yeah. it. Man, yeah. that is awesome. Well, hey, Josh, thank you so much, man. I know it's a, it's a long trip to get here. Oh, it's not too uh, bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's right. I guess planes now, they, yeah, they planes move pretty these quick. Days, yeah. But thanks for being here. I, I feel like 220 is such a, a tight-knit family. It's yeah. always good whenever you have new people come in yeah. and be a part of it. And so thank you for being here. Church, let us know how you're praying for Josh, what you're just excited. I'm I'm excited about this week and what God wants to do. And really, man, we're praying for Belonging Co. too. We actually have a someone near and dear to us going to the Belonging Co. school this at the end of the summer yeah. and so uh be praying for Jaden because we love him man he's i've known Jaden since really before Jaden was even born so, so uh, cool. it's uh, it's cool to yes. see him growing up and i you yes. know i just pray for you guys pray for your church and yeah man we're just excited yeah. for you you guys are doing big stuff thanks, so man. i appreciate that and thanks again for having us yeah, i mean ha- having man. me it's just been such a privilege and an honor and uh, i just love being a part of what god's doing and yeah, i love yeah. i mean th- there's it never gets old to That's see right. young people come oh, and cross over true. from death to life, Amen, right? And and dude. and to see them flood this altar and say, "Hey, I want to make Jesus my Lord and say It's 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 the greatest miracle. So good, it's the right. best thing. You've so. been preaching out of Ezekiel too, right? Which is yep. so for those of you, I know I feel like Pastor John's kind of been talking about it over the last couple of weeks too, of just uh, that death to life, which is a why I. I don't know why I looked up there. I thought I was. So it's a logo. There, there's there. yeah, it's a logo. Yeah. Uh, breathe has been the theme this yeah. year, which is just goes back to that Ezekiel passage of dry bones coming to life, and yeah. man, just even the first night seeing kids that death to life, man. Yeah. And yeah. So just keep praying for that. It's you know, man, I'm excited. The week's not over. We have a lot left to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. God's got a lot left to do. Absolutely. And so just keep praying for us. Thank you guys for being a part of this. We love you, and we'll catch you soon.